Hello and welcome to Hockey Night on Memory to Video Productions. We welcome you to Game 2 of the E1 Division Championship with the Allies facing off against the Rangers. I'm Evan G. Marlowe with Joe B.B. Quinn behind the camera. Welcome you to an exciting game here tonight. Allies took down the first game with a big 8-3 victory. A, uh, a rough start for the Allies with Steve Schneider getting a hat-trick on Seth Gibson. But Allies answered, came back, tied it up, and eventually totally walked away with it in the third period with another dominating effort by them. Hard to see anything different happening today. Seth Gibson is out. He'll actually be joining us in the booth in a little bit. But Jeffries, Brian Jeffries coming up in goal, not much of a difference. So barring a, a huge change, obviously the Rangers were shorthanded last game, but nonetheless, Allies have proven themselves to be the superior team. So with Brad to go out as well on the back end, still not much hope here for the Rangers, to be honest with you. Hard to see them winning this game, let alone the next two. But obviously anything can happen, so Joe Kunikil in net again. We'll see if he can keep himself together today and hold off. It'll be an uphill battle for the Rangers with the strong offense and skill of the Allies. This will be potentially the last game for the Allies in this division, as they'll be moving up after this. We'll see if they can finish off the season on a high note. Only one loss in the first game of the season and since then they have dominated this division. So we'll see if they can finish it out and win another championship, something they've done plenty of in their time. We'll take a quick break. As always, the Allies are sponsored by Central Cafe owned by Ron Lefebvre, which makes great chicken wings right down in Central Plainville. We'll see if the Allies will be celebrating there soon or if we'll be back here for Saturday after these messages. Here we are with the opening face-off. Lou Reed on the draw for the Rangers. New face for them. Still an undermanned team as they have two members currently getting dressed on the bench. Blazinski, Rieger, Delgado, and Fitzgerald on for the Allies. And then three of the same Rangers as last game with DeVille, Schneider, and Schaefer on with Reed for the Rangers. Of course, as mentioned, Jeffries in goal for the Allies. Kunikil stole a net for the Rangers as Delgado enters the rush now with Bozinski. Off a skate to the stick of Bozinski. He takes into the corner, drops back to nobody. I believe he was tricked by the stick tap of DeVille. Fitzgerald's rims around to Delgado. That to flex up over behind Jeffries. Rieger with it now. DeVille with a good move. Shot score. Bill DeShane with a hell of a move there. Takes the puck from the defense and just Rockets a snapshot over Jeffries and another great start for the Rangers. One nothing here early on in the first. So it was Schneider with the great goal last game to start the Rangers off. This time to Shane. A hell of a play by him. A great shot as Hill and Watros on now. Talbot on for Fitzgerald on the back end. Hill with a nice move there, loose in front, shot off the side of the post and wide. Talbot to flex it on over back to Hill. Hill drops it on down to, out of the reach of Watros rather, and to Schneider. Duchesne, this pass is intercepted by Talbot. As the Rangers still have two members Getting dressed on their bench, so stuck with just the four right now, but a one nothing lead here early on. Certainly the start they were looking for. Pass up to Reed, poked away by Talbot. No penalty there as it was Reed eventually down to the deck. Over now to Evan Hill. Hill wheels up to Delgado. Delgado very aggressive so far early on in the back end, joining multitude of rushes. A two-on-one here, though, with Schneider and Reed. Schneider over to Reed. Shot. Saved by Jeffries. 
Not much of a shot there by Reed. A good play on the two-on-one, but Reed rips it right into the chest of Jeffries. Almost hit that bullseye, I believe. Change for the Allies as Rieger Blazinski on up front. Blazinski, thankfully, able to make today's game at the earlier time. Off of Schneider, pressured by Bozinski, poked away off the boards. Bozinski ends up with it now as Rieger in front just out of her reach and down to Reed. Reed wheels, tries to get the shot off, taken by Delgado. Kunikil in front of us, very vocal about his team taking shots at every opportunity possible. So that seems to be the strategy early on for the Rangers. It worked so far with Duchesne's one shot as Talbot's stick gets caught up and Duchesne goes down to the deck. And that'll be a penalty on Brian Talbot. He was down on the deck and took Duchesne down with him. So a power play now for the Rangers. Blazinski, Rieger, and Delgado, the three killers for the Allies, as Blazinski able to clear it on down off of the draw. Schneider has it batted around, picked up now by Schaefer, passed up to Deshane, back to Schneider. Schneider enters, tries to get back pass, but off of Blazinski's skate. Schaefer with it now. Schaefer loses, but Schneider picks it on up, throws in front all the way through the goal mouth and into the corner. Over to Bill Deshane with the lone goal today and drew the penalty. So here's a shot rebound save by Jeffries. Good chance there on the rebound as Schneider's shot was whacked out of the air by Reed. Kunikil has to play that away from Delgado and up to Deshane. Shot on down as Hill and Watros on now for the Allies. Watros pre pressuring Schaefer, able to eventually get it from him. Looking for Hill in front. Nice stick there by Deshane, poking that one away. Otherwise, Hill wide open in front. Kuda kill calling for the trip, but no real damage there. Watros fending off many Rangers there. Up to Schneider now. Schneider to the backhand, save loose in front. Whacked out by Reed, but Jeffrey's just able to squeeze the legs in time and cover up for the whistle. Brian Shea on the ice now for the Rangers as Schaefer takes a breather. First sighting of Brian Shea, big man on the back end. Talbot out of the box now after that quick second faceoff and back to four on four hockey. Not a lot of chances so far for the Allies. Rangers with the lone goal. The power play obviously leads to that. And there's another goal for Deshane. Beautiful pass from Reed. Hammered on home. Two nothing Rangers. It was Reed with the pass out of the corner. Right on the stick, Deshane was streaking in. D in front, unable to get a stick on him, and he hammers that one home, making it 2 nothing Rangers here with eight minutes remaining still in the first period, so a great start for the Rangers. As we are joined now by the one and only, the man himself, Seth Gibson. How you doing? Quite an honor to have you here, sir. Yes. They might need you out there in goal today so far. Not looking good for your allies. I don't know. I don't know if you could blame uh, Mr. Jeffries for either of those first two goals. They uh, were all both pretty tough. I certainly wouldn't say so, but not the start the allies were hoping for. We'll see if they can regroup here. That's for sure. Over to Watros now. Back to Hill. Hill with some space. Shot glove oh. saved by Kunikil. Over to Shea now, his first touch. 
up to Schneider, whacked on down as Huck has entered on for the Rangers. Watch us wide open Ooh. front. Big save there by Kunikil. Not very often you see Wachos not bury from that close, Seth. No, that's for sure. You give him an opportunity like that, he's not going to miss too often. Here he is again with a shot it score. <laughs> Decides the first one was too easy for him. Rather make it take a little challenge and snipe the, quick, the corner on quick that Quick snapper, yeah. low blocker past Kunikil. 2-1 Rangers now. Those are one of the toughest shots to stop. That right over the pad, just below the blocker. Very much one of the toughest shots to stop for a goalie. Especially with a laser like that from Watros. That's for sure. So allies on the board now, cutting into the Rangers' lead here in the first period. Hill pressuring Shea. He's got a little bit of speed on him. Batted around Hill with it now. Poked up here to Fitzgerald. Ooh. Has anyone talked to Fitzgerald about getting a bigger stick, Seth? <laughs> you know, a couple people have uh, mentioned it, but it's, he seems to still want to stick with what he used to play with years ago when we played together. Uh, I don't know if he's comfortable enough yet to make any big move like that. I think Ooh. him and uh, Talbot might need to change. Yeah, yeah, they, they might be better off switching sticks. Mark's got probably a few inches on uh, Talbot anyways. Hill pressure in now, but Schaefer able to get it up. Off of Huck to Watros. Watros with some nice moves. Eventually Ooh. he goes down. Safe call by the referee. Watros not too happy about it. I'll be honest, I'm not sure the referee saw it. Um, not sure either, but didn't look like too bad of a non-call. Nah. Hill back in his own zone with it. Up to Talbot. Blocked here, Talbot in oh. all alone. Talbot in, forehand, backhand, oh. saved by Kunikel. Not very often you see Talbot wide alone in front. Oh. It's about one opportunity a season. Made a strong move with using that long reach, trying to go to the backhand, but Kunikel coming up big with the save. Here's Talbot again with a good shot there, but sticked away. Offensive explosion here Talbot from Brian Talbot. Calling for it again, back in front to him. Oh. Can't control that one though. A little bit of a fire after taking that penalty, I think. That's what coming out strong. Man possessed Brian Talbot on the offensive end. He changes now, though, and Blazinski pokes it on down. Schaefer stops on it. Poked up to Schneider. Schneider had your number the other day, Seth. What was that all about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Here's Blazinski trying to find Rieger in front with Kunikel out of the net, poked away by Schneider, though. He had, what, three goals against me or something? All three of them last year. Yeah. Or Saturday night, rather. You got the victory, though, Seth. So that's, that's all that matters. matters. Put us in a good position tonight. Down to Delgado. Looking to get it up through, it does, but Plazinski unable to knock it down. He picks it up in the corner now. Looking for Rieger Schneider there again in front to poke it away. Fitzgerald backhands it on down. And DeShane, the man with two goals today, enters over to Schneider. As just mentioned, had the three for the Rangers last game. Just totally embarrassing Seth Gibson. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Uh, they were not very good goals as far as I'm concerned. A couple quick wristers I think caught you a little off. Maybe. Schneider clears that one on down. Delgado behind his net with time. Delgado enters with space. Shea able to kick that one down though. Huck over to Schneider. Schneider uh -oh. shot saved by Jeffries. A little bit of traffic in front of him, but able to swallow that one up. As looks like Norton, yep, late to the show, but here to join us. Yeah, he walked in just about the same time I did. <laughs> so a little, 
more reserve action for the Rangers as they now have a full three-man bench yeah, matching the Allies yeah. tonight. See if that will help their future anymore as they had a pretty rough third period last game. Hill takes that one right from Shea. Trying to backhand in front to Wachos, but it's off the net. Cleared around by Shea. Norton with it now. Iced on down. Over to Delgado. Hill looking for Wachos just behind him, and so it's poked away by Shea. Delgado over Hill stick. Schneider shot. Oh, ooh. Hits to Shane in front. Still loose. Cleared away to the corner now. Schneider with it in front. Talbot down on the ground. Clears that one away. Hill takes from Norton. He'll be a two on one with Watros. He'll go right at Shea on his own. Forehand, backhand, oh, score. Wow. Great intervals or individual effort by Evan Hill. I'm not that, sure where Kunikil thought he was going to go on that. Me neither, but he looks a little flustered by it. It's two two allies now as Evan Hill with the great effort. Watros just gave him the go. Said, do it all yourself there. Went right through Shea. You don't see that happen too often from uh, Shea either. Big defenseman like that, he usually is able to knock it away. Hill making him look small on that play, going right through him. That's Classic sure. Evan Hill forehand, backhand move. Ooh. Almost another chance for it there. And just like that, we have ourselves a tie ball game. The Allies right the ship a little bit here. They're a rough start for them. Poked away and very enthusiastically called for a faceoff. And Justin, uh, Justin will let you know what's going on. It's great hand motions, I'll be honest. Really helps me out up here in the bench. What the? Oh, Face off in front of the Rangers bench now. You big into the theatrics when you're reffing, Seth? Uh, I just want to be vocal. I want to let everybody know what's going on. Try to, uh, you know, keep everybody up to date as uh, to how they're playing, if they uh, are close to a penalty or any of that kind of stuff. You know, let them know if a play's okay or, you know, anything like that. As that's the end of the first. So after one, Bill Deshane comes out strong for the Rangers, making it 2 nothing. But Allies right the ship a little bit there, tie it up at two. We'll take a quick break and be back with the second period after these messages. Don't be critiquing Jeffries while you're here. All right. Be 2 nothing with you right now, Seth. Tell me. Huh? I said it'd be 2 nothing with you right now. Yeah, I don't know about that. Those were two pretty nice goals. Schneider would have both. Yeah, oh, Schneider, would, have Schneider would have definitely had a couple on me already. And then the you know, snipe from Deshane. Back now with the start of the second. Puck batted in and picked up by Fitzgerald. It's got to hurt his back to have to bend down like that all that often. Looks like a field hockey player out there. Yeah. Blazinski with a nice take there. Two on one here. Oh. I had a great chance there. Shea able to get a stick on him. Still has Rieger in front, but unable to get it to her. In the corner now, Rieger looking for Blazinski. Good shot there, just high and Whoa. wide. Puck rolling a little bit. Blazinski able to get good wood on it. A great pass from the corner by Rieger. Shea with a strong move there. Cleared on around behind the net. Talbot pokes it on up. Blazinski pokes it up again to... Reed now with it. Steve Schneider, Seth's arch nemesis with it now. <laughs> Spins on it. Has Ooh, hockey nice front save. good save there by Jeffries. Nice one timer there by Huck. I think anybody who plays deck here knows Chad's got one of the strongest wrist shots in the uh, in the rink. And uh, he's, he's just starting his career in roller, but he's already gotten that killer instinct. That's yeah, a great one-timer there. A little loose on his skates, you can see. Yeah, but he's still got a bit to learn, but he's got the skill set there. Yeah, if you put him in the right position, he's still going to get a great shot off, and uh, Jeffries came up big there. Big, strong pad save by him, keeping it a 2-2 game here in the second. Shea with it now. Nice strong move by him. Oh, Shea going forehand, backhand, backhand, wow. shot, score. Some beautiful stick handling by Brian Shea. I'll tell you what, there's been not much that Jeffers could have done in any of these three goals. It's I tough have luck to agree on that. With you. That's a tough one there. A great move by Brian Shea. 
holding off to the defense of Talbot, weaving on through and going to the backhand and tucking it tight under the bar. Yeah. So 3-2 Rangers now after a beauty of a goal on a individual effort by Shea. So a strong answer here for the Rangers after giving up their early two goal lead. They've been putting up a fight so far in this series. Things got away from them in the third period last game, but still a strong effort as Schneider's shot goes wide. Delgado and Schaefer in the corner pokes on through to Fitzgerald. Uh -oh. Almost a dangerous pass there off of Norton. Over to Hill now. Backhander to Delgado joining the rush. Shot into the corner. Delgado very confident about his team's chances today, making plans for victory parties tomorrow already. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hill shot blocked into the corner. Poked on over to Schneider. Down to Delgado. Fitzgerald to Watros. And then that poked away. Back to Delgado now. Settle it down to Hill. Watros weaving on through. His shot blocked. Hill all the way back to us. Pressured by Schaefer. Chipped on up over to Delgado now. Good back check there by Norton harassing Delgado. Chipped over to Watros, just over his stick. Strong shift here by the Allies, but unable to get anything on goal. As Schaefer with it now. Deflected and Jeffries thinks about going out to play it. Shane down to Schneider over to Norton. Norton with some space. Takes a little too long as Fitzgerald with the header there. Schneider turns oh, shot. Nice save, save. Nice Another save. Another save on the rebound. He's flashing the leather in front, but unable to get a stick on it with Schneider. Two strong saves there by Jeffries. Chipped up to Fitzgerald. He plays off the boards just behind Watros. Schneider with space, big wind by him. Ooh. Blocker saved by Jeffries. That would have definitely went in on Seth Gibson. Yeah, that's for sure. Watros with it now. Up in with Hill. Oh, shot, score. What a snipe. Another snipe by Watros. So a couple big saves on the back end by Jeffries. And just like that, one rush up. by Watros, and we have ourselves a tie game. It's got to be great playing with Watros and Hill in front of you, Seth. Knowing I you mean, make a save, they're going to turn it into a goal just like that. Two guys like that, I mean, you're almost guaranteed four or five goals a game out of the two of them. It makes things a lot easier on, your, on you as a goalie to win a game or two. Definitely. So we have ourselves a tie game now following Watros' first goal today. Comes in on a bit of a hot streak with... Second goal today. Um, Had the uh, second yeah. one. Comes in after a hat trick and a two goal and four goal performance. So he's been very hot for the Allies so far. That shot's wide. He did, of course, have the first goal with uh -oh. Hill, the second oh, good that's save, a great there save by Jeffries. Way to hang with it, too. That's fantastic work to find it after the save. Strong work getting over on the read, the one-timer chance in front. Jeffries read it well, got across the read there, and then hung with it to get the cover with the read right on top of him. Strong save by Jeffries as he settled down a little bit, known for his 
late arrival. He was late to the the deck today. Was so it? <laughs> he, perhaps something to do with a little bit of a rough start. He settled down here, although like we mentioned, not necessarily his fault on any of the goals today. I wouldn't blame him at all. Up to Blazinski now. 3-2. His shot wide. Up. And Blazinski settles it down and eventually shoots it down where Rieger will pressure. Rieger that? with it behind the net. Cleared in front. To Talbot. Ooh. Shot wide. Chase tries to go off the boards, hits off Rieger. Eventually, he's able to get it to to Shane. Cleared up now, and Delgado will play. Delgado trying to chip it off through Ooh. himself does. Nice move by him, but the shot's blocked <laughs> by the Shane. Well, Mexican jumping be in action there for Joey Delgado, popping through. It's been very aggressive on the back end. Plays both forward and defense, so obviously has some offensive ability, and he's showing it there. Spike playing defense today. I think he, I think he wants this game pretty bad. I think he he's wants got to the close party planned tonight. for tomorrow. So yeah, I know. I would take a win today. We currently find ourselves in a three-three game. Reed with it now with space. Oh, Shot wide. And lucky Jeffries is off his angle there too. That corner was open. Reed unable to hit it though as the shot created around to the corner. And Hill trying to find Wachos just in his skates. Puck up to Schneider. Schneider has Reed in front. Gets it to him late. Oh, and loose. Jeffrey stays strong on that one. Shea's big wine squeaks oh. through, deflected. Good right. reaction saved by Jeffries there. Oh boy. That's bad. bad turnover there. Oh, Squeaks wow. through. Huck able to get good wood on it. Has some poor defense by the Allies. Leads to a couple of Rangers chances here. They got to get it out here. I'll find them. Finally able to get it out is Fitzgerald. Over to Hill. Hill shot score. Once again, some great work by Jeffries. Leads to the goal as Hill gets his second of the day now. So that's the last two goals, both big saves from Jeffries on one end and uh, the rush back out the next time out. They end up uh, with a goal on the other end. Four, three allies now. Hill, second of the day. A great wrister by him, beating Kunikil. A couple strong, strong saves by Jeffries. As the Rangers had a strong push that shift. But all it takes is one quick little chance for Hill and Watros and they turn it into a goal, giving the Allies a 4-3 lead now here late in the second period. Hill spins on it, up to Watros. Watros in on Shane. Oh, angle's Shots. off. Score. Yeah. Kuna kill oh. well off his angle there, and Watros makes him pay. Just for good measure, goes bar in there, off the post and in, and 5-3 Allies. Watros is third of the day. Seth saw it right away. Yeah. As Kunikil a little too far to his right. I think Watcher saw it too. I mean, that was that was wide open that side, and you know, Brian's not gonna miss too many of those. Even a properly positioned goalie often gets sniped out by Brian Watcher. That's so. for sure. Something off the post like that. I don't even know if, if Kunikil was in the right spot if he was making that save. Yeah. A great shot by him, his third of the day. And we have ourselves a two-goal ally lead here with 240 remaining in this third second period rather. Uh oh off of oh, Fitzgerald boy. skates. Dangerous play there. And then Jeffries able to swallow it up though. <coughs> Jeffries been strong today in net. Yep. Filling in for Mr. Seth Gibson himself. Big yep. shoes to fill there. <laughs> big, big shoes. Yeah. Lazinski on the draw now with Norton. 
back to Schneider. Shot glove down by Ooh, Jeffries. I think she just hung on to that. A little loose with the rebound there, but no harm done as eventually it's cleared out to Rieger. Backhander up. Rieger trying to poke away by Schneider. Strong move by him, but then turned over to Delgado. Delgado with some nice moves through. On the backhand, his shot attempt doesn't get through. Still loose in front. Oh, wow. around Score. Kuna kill very frustrated about that one. Delgado threw it in the front and was hopping around up off of a couple shoulders. Eventually he ended up down, and I believe it was Plazinski that got a piece of it to whack it in. Yeah, Kuna kill immediately happy. throwing his stick down in frustration. Just gonna buy some time here. Getting a drink. Trying to regroup here after a big flurry by the Allies gives them a 6-3 lead now starting to pull away. Kunikil getting all his gear together now. A rough stretch of the game for him, but with the Allies' strong offense, goalies often have little they can do. Shane clears it on down to Norton. Big one by him, swatted down by Fitzgerald. Using that little stick. Putting that thing to use. A little twig in front. Schneider bodies off Delgado. Oh, Had oh wow, great play by in front, but unable to pull the trigger as the Allies' defense recovered. Blazinski makes a great play there. Schaefer doesn't one-time it. I think Schaefer was surprised that pass got through to his stick so well. Yeah, a lot of bodies to get through there, that's for sure. Down now to Desheen. He decides to just shoot it on down. Talbot backhander off Norton. Eventually chopped up to the Blazinski. Blazinski in now with some time shot oh. off the post. Always dangerous to give Eric Blazinski that much time with his wrister. Zinski again with it now. Curls off it. Good play there by Shea. To Shane over to Schaefer and cleared on down as we have 38, just 35 seconds now remaining in the second period. A 6 3 Allies lead. Kunikil well out of his net there. Flicks it past Rieger. This is when Kunikil starts getting frustrated. This third period might be interesting. He's been known to have be a little bit of a hothead. So as the Allies start to pull away here, we'll see how he reacts. Shot there, kicked away by Shea. Down Delgado down in the oh. corner. Looking for Bozinski. Oh. Kicked away. That's the final buzzer, so strong period there for the Allies as they take a 6-3 lead, just one period away from winning the championship. We'll take a quick break, come back after these messages. Back now here with the start of the third period. Once again, this is a memory to video production as the Allies just 11 minutes away from their first E1 championship. First, of course, and only season in the E1 division. Hill with it now. Over to Watros. Uh, handcuffs him a little bit. Unable to get the shot off. I'd like to thank Seth Gibson for joining us earlier. He had to head on out to a ice game. So thank you, Seth, for your insight on some goaltending knowledge there. Jeffries has been strong as his replacement tonight. Coming up with some huge saves and some huge momentum saves as a couple big flurries by the Rangers were thwarted by Jeffries and then led to quick goals shortly thereafter by the Allies as Watros with a shot there. Score! Watros is fourth of the day, scoring every way possible, going blocker, glove, and now five hole, a four goal outburst by Watros. 
as he continues to be just flaming hot here in the playoffs. 7-3, allies starting to pull away. Kunikil looking defeated already in net. Not much the Rangers can do today as the Allies just a better team. Talbot has it now. His shot almost through, but played here by DeShane. Kunikil was pretty strong in the first game. Things got a little out of hand towards the end, but today he has not been very sharp in goal. Obviously, Anytime Watros and Hill are shooting on you, as well as another goal by Blazinski that was added for the Allies, it's tough to make a ton of saves, but he hasn't come up huge too many times today for his team. Although you could say that as Jeffrey squeezes that Schneider shot, could say that almost any goalie, especially in this league, would have a hard time with this Allies offense. Face off two between Blazinski and Norton as Blazinski ends up with it now and with some space shot rips around the corner here as wide on the short side. Jeffries clears that wall save away to Talbot. Up now loose and Bozinski with a good one hand whack over to Delgado. Shot off the pole, off the back and in. Goal. Well, Kunikil got a piece of it. It popped up, hit off the crossbar, came down off the back and goes in eventually Delcado with the goal. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm not sure what he's complaining about, but the referee said it for me and not much he could do on that one. He got a piece of the initial one, popped on up, down, and it was Delgado with the goal. A great pass there by Bozinski with a one-handed whack and squeezing it on through right on the stick of Delgado in front. So 8-3 allies now with eight minutes just about remaining here in the third period as they look pretty set to make sure that Joey doesn't have to reschedule any parties. Shot wide there. Chipped on up. Now by Shea 2. Over to that was Schaefer and then DeShane whacked it on down. Stopped now behind the net by Shea. Poked away up to Blazinski. God bless you, referee in front of me, sneezing. Cleared on down to Delgado. Delgado gets through there, but eventually loses it, and Shea enters. Big wind by him, shot wide. Loose squeaks through Jeffries. Another chance here for DeShane goes up and over. It was Schaefer jamming home the rebound. And squeaked through Jeffries. Eventually, the second attempt by DeShane just popped on over. Chipped up Blazinski trying to get it from DeShane, but he's able to get it back to Shea. Big man turns and fires over to Norton. Norton has it poked away by Talbot. Again, poked. And then poked over to Blazinski. Clear it on down where Kunikil will leave it as both teams send a couple guys off to change. Poke 
Down and loose. Fitzgerald with it. Kudakil calling for a slash, but seemed like a pretty average play there. Delgado has it now. Looking up for Watros. Watros trying to leave it back, but Schaefer's there. Schaefer up to Shea. Cleared off for Schneider, freshly off the bench. Schneider pokes away. Hill has it poked away by Schaefer. Hill and Schaefer get into it. And eventually it is Schaefer, I believe, will be headed off. Couple words exchanged. Obviously the Rangers, a frustrated team here. Schaefer got into it a little bit with Hill and then continued all the way around the net after the ball had already left. Eventually took down Hill and off goes Schaefer. It's Reed, Schneider, and DeShane on for the penalty kill. Certainly not what the Rangers need now, but penalty kill or not, not looking good for their outcome here today. Beautiful pass. Hill shot wide. Watch us with a great back pass. Hill in alone now. Glove saved there by Kuna Kill. Cleared down. Fitzgerald with time. He holds. Hill over Watcho. Shot score. Three three the goal. Beautiful one time goal there. Hill finds Watchos for his fifth of the day. 9 3 Allies lead. Just toying with the Rangers now. Kuhnkill actually did a good job of getting over there. Got a piece of it, but Watcho still able to squeak it on in. That one actually goes in. Not sure if that actually got a piece of the rafters, but the whistle was blown. Would have been an interesting goal there. As blown dead, but looks like it hit a whistle. And face off back now. So Watros five goal game today here in game two of the championship. Showing why he and Evan Hill are two of the best players in, certainly the two best players in the division. Two of the best to play at this rink, if you ask me. Poked up by Schneider now. Trying to find Huck, but unable to control and cleared away eventually by Talbot. Fitzgerald loses it to Huck. Huck with a good wrister there. Still loose in front. Schneider whacking at it. Jeffries with some strong saves. Squeeze it. Somehow able to keep that one out. Looked like it got behind him. It was Schneider whacking at the rebound off of the Huck wrister. And uh, Jeffries rather got the ball behind him, but able to keep it out somehow, reaching back and pulling it to keep it a 9-3 game here. Jeffries remaining strong in goal today. Little change here as we have four minutes and 31 seconds remaining in a 9-3 lead for the Allies. Once again, just pulling away from the competition like they have done many games this season. Poked up, Watros has Hill with him. Watros over to Hill, shot, great save there by Kunikil. He's slow to get up, and whistle blown. Not sure if he pulled the muscle there sliding over. It was a beautiful save by him as he slid all the way over. He seems to be down and out for the time being. We'll see how serious this injury is. Obviously, not looking good for the Rangers anyway, but an injury to their goalie certainly isn't good. He was in clear pain, tries getting up and can't. We're going to take a quick break and see the health of Joe Kunikil after these messages.
timeout. Back now as Kunikil showing some great heart there. Was in clear pain and looks to still be a little shaky, but is here to gut it out with four minutes remaining. Rangers taking a timeout, give him a little extra breather there to help recover. So obviously not looking good for his team's chances either way. But good to see a strong effort and no quit in Joe Kunikel in net. Shea back now over to Schneider. Poked away by Talbot. Loose and front and swallowed up by Jeffries. Jeffries, a big part of today's victory. He, of course, in goal for the only loss of the day, uh, of the season, rather, for the Allies when they lost the first game. So nice little bookend here with Jeffries finishing the season, albeit with a loss, and ending it now, barring a epic collapse with a victory here in game two. We'll see what the final score is, but everything pretty much settled down now. Rieger with a chance here. Loose in front. Trying to wheel around, looking for Bozinski off of Shea's skates. Poked over to Deshane. Chipped up where Huck will take. Delgado. Stops that effort though. Eventually shot on down to the corner and Rieger with it again. Rieger over for Talbot. Poked on up. Delgado. Over and Blazinski shoots it on down as Approaching two minutes remaining here. <laughs> Plazinski with the big wind, but Reed able to poke it from him. So big wind by Reed, shot saved by Jeffries. Loose in front, but wide. Another strong save there by Jeffries. Reed with plenty of chances there. And Shea's shot saved by Jeffries. Jeffries been a brick wall back there after a tough start for the Allies with a couple quick goals by the Rangers. Couple beauties by Bill DeShane. And then another nice goal by Schneider. But Jeffries stopping everything since then. Allies controlling the action, but the Rangers have certainly had a fair share of chances. A lot closer game than the scoreboard may indicate in terms of chances, but great saves by Jeffries as Watros. Takes a little walk through the park, wheels around and back now to his line mate, Evan Hill. Up to Watros. His shot cleared in. Watros and Hill, a dynamic duo up front. Totally taking over the E1 division just as they did the E2 last season. Here's a good chance for Schneider. It hits Reed skate in front and kicks to the corner. Another shot there saved by Jeffries and Delgado will join the rush. Delgado cuts in, curls. Kunikil can't even move once he goes down. He just stays down. Saved there by Jeffries. Kunikil stole down, obviously in some serious pain, but gutting it out to finish the game for his team. Shot down Fitzgerald with it. Fitzgerald will enter. Poked away by Schneider, and Reed takes. As I was saying, Hill and Watros totally owning the E1 division. And now, as Kunikil getting off for the final 10 seconds, Watros telling to Shane in front to just hold it as we'll wind off, so. 
it'll be a 9-3 victory for Yay! the Allies as they take down the E1 division. They make the jump up to the E1 and come up big with a commanding victory, 9-3, putting their stamp on the season, a season in which they totally controlled. It was a game one loss, but after that, after that, it was all allies taking down everyone all game long. Today was the story of the season as just too much talent, too much offense, a great effort all around. Seth Gibson obviously strong in goal for them this season. And Jeffrey's coming up big today. Up front, story obviously Hill and Watros. Hard to pick one for MVP. You'd have to say co-MVP. Playoffs, maybe you'd give it the MVP to Watros with another five-goal effort today. Just went with 11 goals in three games as the Allies get to pose with that beautiful trophy there. Looking pretty big. A familiar pose for the Allies. We'll see as they'll jump up to the D1 division, or D2 division rather, next session and see if they can remain as dominant. Obviously, it'll be a bigger challenge for them, but they probably didn't think they would control this division after making the jump up quite so easily. Just too much skill, too much offense, some strong D on the back end by all the defensemen, and the Allies, too good of a team, and they show it with a 9-3 victory today and another championship for the Allies. Captain Joey Delgado with a big grin on his face. Obviously, he's very happy. Just a great effort by all the Allies team members throughout the season, leading to their continuation and dominance year after year here. I'd like to take this time to thank Joey Delgado, obviously, for this opportunity. It's been a pleasure covering you guys for another session here. Look forward to seeing everyone jump up to the next division. Thanks also go out to everyone else who helped this broadcast, from Brian Freeman's time with us to Al's one game. Of course, Joe B.B. Quinn with us tonight and the last couple games. Another strong addition. Looking forward to move forward with him. Andre, obviously some entertaining times with him. So it's been a, another great session for me. Thanks again to Joey and everything with MVP, Memory to Video Productions. Allies obviously would like to thank Ron Lefave, owner of Central Cafe, for their sponsorship, Central Cafe. Thanks to them for hosting the Allies after every game. And once again, Allies skate off champions. So for Joe B.B. Quinn, I'm Evan G. Marlowe. Thanks again as always, and we'll see you next time as we move up to the D2 division, and we'll see how the Allies do then. Until next time, thanks again, and we'll see you soon.